Hello students, welcome to my channel and as I have said earlier that we will be completing the water resources chapter in three different videos. So this is the second video from the chapter and the link of the first video has been given in the description. If you haven't gone through, you can go through it and in this video we are going to discuss the different types of the methods of irrigation. So let us let us start the video. Types of irrigation, primary source rainfall secondary sources well canal tank drip and sprinkle irrigation a well irrigation is a hole which is dug out in the ground up to the depth of 5 meter or it could be the 15 meters deeper also now well irrigation is a very old traditional method in india and various ways is uh, ways are there to lift the water from the well like moat system in this system you can see a pulley is fixed to the bucket and the water is lifted out from the well now other types of the system is the person well system okay and uh, there are the systems like a rehat system also it's a person well but driven by the power of animals now there are about 50% uh, of net irrigated area in the country is irrigated with the means of well and the well irrigation is considerably has increased uh, in of country also there are few geographical factors for the installation of well like the sufficient amount of groundwater depth should be of 15 meter otherwise the cost of pumping will be high and the soil should be very soft so that the wells can be dig out very easily so the well irrigation are also of different types surface well and tube well surface are two types lined well and unlined well now unlined surface well means kacha well where the protective outer cover is not made. Now whereas a lined or the paka well the protective outer cover is also made. Now well irrigation is very popular in the area of the sweet groundwater available that is the mostly the part of northern plains and the deltaic region of the uh, rivers. Now the tube well is much more deeper than the well and the water is lifted with the electric motor or diesel engine and merits of the well and tube well irrigation it is the simplest and the cheapest form of irrigation it's an independent source of irrigation excessive irrigation by canals led to the problems of ray here in the well irrigation there is no such problems well can be dig out at any convenient place fertilizers are mixed with the well water so extra fertility is supplied to the field also and uh, no payment has to be done for the use of well irrigation demerits of well and tube well irrigation like uh, it can irrigate only a small area and the wells may get dried up due to the excessive water taken out and even in the time of uh, drought the water may not available in the well and uh, also due to the excessive water pumps out through the ground that may become unfit for uh, agriculture uh, and the wells and tubules irrigation is not possible in the areas of brackish water uh, brackish groundwater means the saline groundwater Next is the tank irrigation. A tank irrigation is a reserve of irrigation, a small lake or pool damming the valleys. Tank irrigation is very popular in the rocky plateau or in the southern plateau of our country and it is a very old traditional method constructed by building earthen walls built across a depression valley behind which the rainwater gets collected. And it is very uh, popular in the state of Tamil Nadu where is 18.42% of total areas irrigated through the tank irrigation followed by Odisha, Andhra Pradesh, Kerala and Karnataka. Now it is mostly pop uh, present in the peninsula region due to the undulating relief and hard rocks which makes it difficult for digging canals and wells. There is a very less precaution of water due to the presence of permeable, impermeable rocks. And most of the rivers in the southern part are seasonal. So the torrential rain during the rainy season can be put to the use by collecting it into the uh, artificial pits or natural pits and later on utilized for the agriculture. Some of the merits of tank is like it is the construction is very cheap and it is a independent source to the individual farmers and the longer span of this tank can also use for fishing. Now some of the demerits are it depends upon the rain and the tank may get dried up during the time of need. Now desilting of the tank beds also it's very expensive. 
it will require a large amount of land which can be put to agriculture there is a loss of evaporation also water through evaporation sometimes lifting of the water with the help of electric pumps also become highly uneconomical for the small farmers next is the canal irrigation is the artificial water course constructed for the supply of water now there are two types of canal inundation and perennial inundation is the non perennial without any regulating system perennial is the uh, constructed a barrage is constructed at the head for the control of the flow of water now canals is a very effective source of irrigation mostly concentrated in the northern plains of india due to the flat land and the canals are practically absent in the peninsular plateau region due to the rocky terrain as well as also the undulating surface also so the percentage of the canal irrigation has fallen from 40 to 25% at present because of the dependency has increased in the well irrigation and other types of irrigation so 60% is present in the northern plains of india merits is a perennial source provide safety from droughts bring fertile sediments to the field and serves to a large area demerits due to the water logging problem like it's lifty leads to the malaria and flooding problem and there is a wastages of water also and uh, sprinkle irrigation this is the modern method nowadays the modern dependency on the modern method is increasing more because there is a efficient use of water so in this a sprinkle irrigation the water is supplied through the pipes and sprays where the water efficiency increases up to 60 to 90% however it is a very expensive uh, method of irrigation so changing pipes again and again may damage to the crops next is the drip irrigation now it is also a modern method of irrigation in this method the water is supplied in the form of drops through the nozzle which is attached to the tubes and uh, the water is supplied directly to the plants drop by drop and weeds may not grow because excessive water flow is not present so with this we come to the end of the video and if you like the video then please share it and don't forget to subscribe my channel and thank you for watching